Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here at Pragmatic Works. My name is Mitchell Pearson. If you like what you see in this video and you don't want to miss out on any of those other videos that we drop, please make sure to take time right now and subscribe to the channel, like this video, we would appreciate it. In this video, we're going to be transitioning back to Power BI. And what I'm going to be talking about is how do you add and subtract time to like a date or a date time column. If you're here, then you've already looked and you've discovered that there really isn't a function that easily does that. Uh, now, a lot of other technologies do have functions that do that, but apparently it doesn't just easily exist right there in DAX. However, there's a couple ways we can do it. I'm going to show you how to do it in DAX, which will work, and it'll work pretty quickly and pretty easily, but I would recommend doing it in the Power Query Editor, and I'm going to show you how to do it there. So we're going to take a look at two quick approaches on how to add or subtract time, like hours and minutes, from either your, your date time column. All right, so let's jump right in and take a look. I'm going to go over to inside of Power BI, inside of my model, I'm going to go over to the date column. And on the date column, you'll notice right here, I have my date column right here. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to create a new column on this table. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new column. Now, one of the things I always teach, I've been teaching for many years, is that the date column inside of Power BI is stored as a float value meaning it's a numeric value, it's a whole number followed by a decimal. The whole number is the number of days since some arbitrary date in the past, and the decimal is going to be the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. So even though date add or any of those functions here don't really allow you to add hours or subtract them, you can just add the hours to the date time, and that's what we're going to do. So we'll call this one date time equals, and then we're going to take the date from this table, so we'll do date and then date column, and I'm going to now add in four hours. We're going to add four hours to this. So how do we do that? Well, because we're talking about fractions or working within the decimals, right? Well, this is actually pretty easy. If I want to add four hours, I'll do four divided by 24 hours in the day. That'll get me the exact number that I need, right? I could have subtracted that if I wanted to go back four hours. And so I'll hit enter here and we'll give that a moment to complete. And look at that. We just went from July 1st, if you would have changed that to a date time, at 12 o'clock to July 1st at 4 o'clock. Super easy. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I get questions every day through our on-demand learning platform, through virtual mentoring we do, and also through email, right? People are always emailing me questions. This one came in, and I was like, surely this is easy. And I went to do it in uh, DAX, and I was like, oh, there's not actually a function to convert from UTC or to just add time. So I was like, all right, well, let's just do this. And this worked out very well. Now, I would prefer to do this in the Power Query Editor. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to go back over here and launch the Power Query Editor. And likewise, I actually went through and looked at the functions. And I didn't find a function that would, would do this. It wouldn't convert from UTC. It wouldn't add hours or subtract hours. So I'm going to take a different approach to solving this problem by just adding the duration. So back on my date table, the first thing that I want to do is I could duplicate this column, but to keep it super simple, I'm going to go ahead and change this to a date time. Once again, you could duplicate the column, create it from that, and then remove it. But I'm going to turn this into a date time here real quick. And then I'm going to write some ILM code, right? I'm going to write some Power Query language here by clicking on Add Column, and we're going to do Custom Column. And I'm just going to show you the real quick and dirty way to get this done. If you want to dive deeper into this, Right? There's a lot of videos out there that talk about ELM. Power at, at Pragmatic Works, we have an on-demand learning video that's all about writing ELM. So you can check that out as well. I'm going to go click on date. I'm going to insert that in. And then all I want to do is add four hours to the date. So how do I do that? Well, I can do plus, and then I could say hashtag duration, open parenthesis. I want to add zero days. I want to add, let's say five hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds. And that's it. Super easy, super quick. Let's take a quick look at the results. We'll click OK, zoom out, roll over to the right, and look at that. We added five hours and it's working flawlessly. So that's two different approaches to solve the same problem. One in DAX, one in Power Query. You've seen our other videos. You know that we would recommend doing this in the Power Query Editor because it's going to happen before Power BI Desktop applies its compression algorithms and it's going to give you the best possible chance for compression. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, once again, make sure you hit like and subscribe so that you are notified anytime we do these videos in the future. Enjoy.